my friend so today we're going to talk about wordpress we're going to talk about wordpress menus and we're going to talk about themes and plugins and some of the problems that you'll encounter with your widgets and with your menus when you move when you change themes and when you import data from another site we're going to talk about the kinds of things that you might have problems with and we're going to show you ways around them and maybe even explain why they're happening uh, if I can if I can figure it out right so we're going to show you a wordpress site if you've got your own wordpress site this is any any wordpress site is fine and if you don't have a wordpress site we're also going to show you where you can get one for free in just a moment but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you got a wordpress site and you got some weird stuff going on and you're wondering how to fix it and why it's happening and we're going to show you a couple things before we get into that but uh, so first let's show you um if you don't already have a, a wordpress site let's show you where you can get one so I'm actually um preparing an upload right now so that I thought it might have been ready before this but I guess we'll have to wait and what I'll do is I'm going to show you instead a brand new setup because let's see where is it where is it over here I'm gonna go and a new whoops I'm gonna move that over here uh that's fine all right so let's go here move this like this go over here and if I well actually let me show you my blog first right I mean if you already know my blog uh you know that it is agentsergegagnon.com if you don't know it that's uh so jeansergegagnon.com let's uh do I have my blog link here right there so if you go to jeansergegagnon.com you're going to see this right so if you're listening to the audio it's j-e-a-n-s-e-r-g-e-g-a-g-n-o-n.com all right so go check that out and by the way uh this is episode number 235 of course income secrets and you can get that and again if you're listening to the audio it's cis235.jsgagnon.com that's j-s-g-a-g-n-o-n.com all right that's now, now that's out of the way now you can see the blog kind of what it looks like but this is just one way this is this is a theme like the way it's set up the way the way it's organized where I have these categories on the side here the way that on the top here there's these menus right here right these are all theme based things now when you change your uh, layout to change your theme or you import from another site the behavior might be not what you're expecting or what you've seen elsewhere see the bottom here these are called widgets I just put these I mean you know these are videos that you can watch directly on the site if I click on these it plays the video directly there hey my friend I'll just stay in the sound now and you know it's just a widget that's what they call a widget right down the bottom here we have a menu as well oh you can't see it I'm in the way let me show you so underneath here you see there's there's a menu down there too uh right now it says privacy gdpr terms of use legal contact and but whatever you put down the bottom is you know it depends on the theme it depends on the theme so okay so that's that's one thing that's the the blog uh my blog if I go over here and I go into my blog and I log into I'm probably logged in already so I'll just uh yeah so when you're in the back office of your blog right you see all your all your posts right you see comments you see your settings you can see do all sorts of different things you got plugins you got appearance you got uh, appearance in here that's where your widgets and menus and header and background there's all sorts of different things your theme of course all these things all affect how things look and how things are put together right so if if you oh so yeah so let's let's back up here to go to where can you get your own your own blog where can you get your own blog site uh you can there's lots of places obviously but if you go to click ecourse.com I'm going to log out because I'm already, already already logged in over here let's log out okay so if you go to click ecourse.com uh I've got it disabled debugging I had debug enabled so I'll just turn it off there we go all right so 
um when you go to clickycourse.com which is uh here's the link right here cl uh, clickycourse.com where is it there it is right here so click ecourse.com you're going to see this this page which is kind of the about page but if you register let's do that right now if you register an account uh, you just I'm just going to create an account 235 at xos.com you register an account uh, for free you it's going to send you an email right you can send you an email uh, I'm just going to add it all that in all my stuff it doesn't matter it's a test account anyways it's going to send an email to whatever email is on there and if you go into your email <clears throat> within a few moments probably within five minutes in my case it might be faster because I'm also sending myself a, uh, a test email so yeah so clicky course you're going to get an email like this it's going to say activation account it won't say fyi it'll say activation account and then you can just click on this link that's right here to activate it right so I'm going to just do that I'm going to activate it I'll just close these these other tabs I don't need and you can see that it says successfully activated your account now right so once that's done um you're going to be able to go to your uh, profile up top here you're going to see a little uh person with no logo you can oh that's that's a little bit resize that a bit see up top you're going to see a little person there you can just click on that and you have all the options for your account well, you can see there's a wordpress blog right there you can just click on the wordpress blog and that takes you to a place where you can create your wordpress site so it's filled in with some uh some some uh, previous stuff I had but let's just say my uh, cis 235 blog test site all right uh this is going to be just cis 235 again it's just admin <coughs> it's uh cis 235 I don't know why my browser remembers this right I'm just going to put that like that okay so now you've you the default that you'll see there won't be that it'll be it'll be uh more sensible <laughs> to you but if I click here to activate it, it basically just activates this the the the, the website the, the wordpress blog so you can actually uh have your own wordpress blog where you can import from wherever if you're paying a monthly fee you can import it here now the thing is just a a, a little side side note a caveat the free account doesn't let you just like most other ones they're all like that doesn't let you have your custom domain right so it's got to be blog.clickycourse.com slash whatever your account name is right okay so now if I go to that site that's the oh that's nice <laughs> um oh I know why I know what happened uh that's because <clears throat> um that's because I gave it cis 235 and that uh, that user I'm not set up yet I forgot it. that's actually a, uh, let me see if I go into my uh, details actually right here I'm going to change that to that because that's going to make it work uh under here that's kind of weird I guess it should have uh, cis 235 cis 235 let's just do that and I'm not sure if that that's an interesting bug that I just found right now that I shouldn't be allowing can that is that going to work now no that's I probably hmm. let's go to user to 235 I don't think it was user 235 but I'm just going to do that and then uh, I'm going to be that might work does it work yeah it does work no it doesn't work this is not this is embarrassing I don't like not cis 235 it sort of works but not really <laughs> unless it's a uh, problem with the ah uh, so disappointing so disappointing that I run into these issues when I'm doing these videos okay well if I go to the site that was working yesterday uh, where is it right over here it's it's still importing I guess uh, that one there is working 
um blog course user 168 right so if I go to that it's probably still importing oh no it's there okay so there's a okay so now let's talk about how do you fix this crazy menu that it put there automatically in the default theme for one thing right so for one thing what I did here is I imported a, um I imported uh, an old backup I had right okay so I imported an old backup and if I go back is he done he's done okay so now when you're in the dashboard of your site after you've created your site after you know I'm going to fix all that's all going to work by the time you look at it but basically it lets you create a site and then uh, once that's and I could probably you know what let's I think that it's because I put that weird username let me try that let me see if that's the problem I'm just going to delete it and then I'm going to recreate it again afterwards and let's just call I don't know why it does why what's that go away so cis 235 test blog this is going to be which you what's the user id I'm going to have to go figure out what the you that's it's you know why does it change this is anyways it's a problem with my browser it's not really a problem with the site um it probably works fine on the site uh, but anyways if I got the okay so let's fix the menu that's what we want to do you want to fix the menu um in this case right so in this case I got all these different uh, posts that were imported right this one here I don't need this the hello world I'll just delete it it's the one that came with the the default install so these are all my or these are old like right? see 170 I'm at 235 right now but if I go into say the appearance first of all I can go to menus just directly like this and then you can see right here that I have a footer menu and a top menu right now it's selected is it showing this the footer menu yeah this is the footer menu right now see right here I can change it to the top menu select and now it shows me this top menu which has these things this is the menu I want right so now if it's not it, so if this like uh that's not the menu we're seeing right we're not seeing that menu right here we're seeing this this weird menu with all these things on it right see all these things on it right, right up here right okay so let's go back here so where is it under manage locations you're going to see there's a bunch of different options here and I'm just going to say top menu for the desktop horizontal menu the desk and there's no there's like this theme has a bunch of different menus footer menu I'm going to put the footer menu here social menu I'm just gonna oh well let's save that like this so uh, this particular theme has got five menus so let's just create other menus let's call uh, we need a desktop expanded <clears throat> so let's just create a new menu uh where do you create a new menu engineer save menu um mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to remember where is it just no there's got to be a way to oh create new menu right there so you got it's been a while right for me it's been a while so create a new menu so this one I'm going to call it desktop top and on this one I just want I don't want to have any uh, display location right it's telling me right here where it's being displayed it's just going to be the uh, horizontal menu set to top menu let's do this one as you can see it says currently set to this I don't want to automatically add to, not top level to it I don't know where that other menu is I can't that's weird um anyways so I'll do this and I'm just going to add let's create menu <clears throat> and I'm just going to I don't want it there save that's interesting that it didn't okay let's just add I don't know let's just add the uh, uh I can put uh, posts or pages these are pages right um I can put let's say I just put a uh, home or let's just put VA and simple online at the menu okay so now we have these two things and we'll, we'll show you a bit more about menus but now we have these two things in that menu and if I go back to manage locations now you can see that this one is top menu and desktop menu right and if I go back to my site I don't know if that'll fix it let's see yeah see look now that's fixed right and like I said I don't know where that other menu is because it doesn't make sense but anyways that's how you fix the menu you got to choose manage locations and you got to choose your menu if you don't have a menu selected 
I'm not really sure what it does it depends on your theme okay so now let's say let's say you change your theme you see this theme is like this now uh there's no uh of course there's two, two these are categories I guess um yeah so that's one thing now the other thing is if I want to edit the menu right I don't want to have cryptos anymore on my blocks I go here and I go to my to the menu I want it's the top menu and I want to take this cryptos out of there so I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to say remove and then save so now that removed that part of my menu if I just reload this page now you can see the cryptos is now gone right okay so say I want to change my theme or I have a different theme so how do you do that under appearance there's a themes option right there just click on that and then you can choose the theme one of the themes that are installed by default depending on where your where your WordPress is hosted but you can also depending again on your site but on Click eCourse it's all open source it's all free it's all whatever uh, is available so you can actually go here and install any of these themes and use them so I it doesn't really matter which one let's just say I install this one I can install this one it doesn't you know like I said doesn't really matter I'll install this one too okay so now I have three more uh, that I installed uh, let's see where is it if I go back to just themes you'll see now that I have these other ones that are installed right so once a theme is installed you can use it by activating it or you can just preview what it'll look like so as you can mouse over you see there's a live preview button on these so let's say I want to see what this would look like with the current setup I have I don't no changes of anything it'll just take whatever is in the current theme import it into this one and show us what it would look like with that theme and that means menus are going to be uh, whatever menus you've got set up your blog is going to look <laughs> whatever uh, the blog looks like and you're going to have whatever they have as widgets right on the side here as you can see there's a widget they have a recent comment one they have a recent post one uh they have a let's see what else do they have down here let's see the bottom they have these the the footer they don't have any footer widgets but that's because we didn't create a footer widget in our case but there wasn't any on here <clears throat> uh so that's so now that's that doesn't mean I don't have to I don't have to activate and publish I can go and change it to a different one let's say I do I want to look at this one what this one looks like <clears throat> so it gives me a live preview of this other uh theme <coughs> which maybe I like better maybe I like less right as you can see here the menus up here and and uh, the posts look you know that it's a different look right you can actually is there a preview I think there's a preview for oh right down here so down here you can actually choose mobile preview I want to see what it would look like on a phone on a phone it'll look like this right I can see what it looks like on a tablet right on a tablet there's two tabs that might be a nice a nice blog theme to use right uh depending on the you know me I set up this super busy looking blog right <laughs> which may be nice for ADHD or whatever people right um and I'm not I don't know I probably am a little bit ADHD I I I, know, I never got diagnosed or anything but I'm guessing that I might be given my amount of need to have to be doing all sorts of things all the time right anyway so that's uh that's a theme the other one you can uh change the theme again I want to change this to I want to look at what this one looks like previewing this one see it's telling me I'm previewing this one I'm going to live preview this one see what that one looks like so after you go through and you choose your theme there's a ton of different things obviously but the thing is that the look of the theme is one thing but then there's the features like for example this this theme here if I go to menus uh it's got three menus you see that how it's got three menus top menu footer menu and desktop menu right now if I go back to say I go back to another, the other theme I'm not sure about this other one uh previewing which one am I out previewing if I preview this one I don't know how, if it has more menus if I go back to here I can see under menus they have three as well okay there's not I thought for sure but I mean maybe it's just I happened to pick these let's say this one menus they have three maybe they all have I don't know I don't know but anyways there's one here right 
and there is mm, I'm not sure what the footer menu is footer menu privacy terms of use well yeah we don't even see that so I guess even if it's there it doesn't mean it shows up you can add a new item out oh, to the menu like this oh okay yeah right so that's the um okay um so footer menu top menu is that one that I have right and desktop menu that's the that's the one I created but I don't think it's being displayed anywhere where do I see uh, primary uh, view locations I'm not really sure how that I don't know maybe you can't do this stuff within the preview of the but I mean if this one this one doesn't seem to have a footer menu right so I'm just going to activate this this blog here this uh, theme just click on activate and let's just see what happens uh if I do that looks like something's gone wrong okay mm -hmm. oh, okay it's already published well so now yeah that's fine let's uh, go back into here reload this and yeah so see now it's got the new theme and there's no footer menu that's kind of interesting I wonder what there's no there's only one menu on this but let's take a look I'm curious because that's one of the things that I wonder about right if I go here under menus um menu locations yeah see there's only one menu see even though when we were looking at the theme customization while we were doing the live preview you could it looked like you had more than menus but that's the thing you got to be careful when you're going from one theme to another is are you going to lose menus are you going to lose uh you know uh are you going to gain menus right if I go back to my uh, my theme right here and I go back to the theme that this theme recommends installing yeah okay if I go back to my 20 this one here this 2020 which was the default theme right if I'm back on that theme and I go into the menus and I look at the manage locations you can see that there's five menus on this theme right there's five menus so you can actually have five different menus I I would have to look at what each of these are where they are but depending on the on the theme and that's the thing so let's just say for example I want to create a new menu for the uh, theme I'm going to call it uh, social uh, create menu and I'm going to have I'm going to add to this a uh, custom link I want to add https slash slash facebook.com slash newlix so Facebook right add to menu uh let's say https twitter.com slash twitter and then let's add Instagram instagram.com slash of course I would want to put all my social accounts Instagram right add to menu okay so uh now if I just save this I don't know what it, it I guess it's set to social menu if I go back to manage locations social is on social menu okay uh footer is on footer menu mobile menu I guess you can have a different menu if you're on mobile and then desktop and then the top menu so what's this menu desktop expanded menu has gotten just these oh, okay these things so if I this one here could be add top new level pages let's do that <coughs> remove this remove this and then save it and this might be why the this other menu that had all these things this might be why right so let's just uh let's just look at the um customize the theme what it looks like so when you click on customize you get to the actual <coughs> and then if I click on menu oh this is my social menu oh that's interesting that's where that is okay so maybe I need to oh because it doesn't have oh uh, okay you can't you can't just say let's reload this you can't just say add pages 
when you create the menu it won't add the pages it'll only add them when they're being created so but if so if I go back here and I go into my menu and I want to change the expanded menu okay expanded menu I'm gonna select all I'm just gonna add the menu save it so now everything that's a page every page has been added and that's kind of what we saw when we first got in right if I reload this <clears throat> it's not there but if I go on this it's here these are all my these are all my my pages right so that's the menu that they have here and if I go and change my view to a, a mobile view like this you can see now that the the now I just have these two th no actually there's no menu oh this is my menu here oh there's no see there's no desktop the desktop items are not in but anyways this is just a okay how this works it's not specific to to you necessarily this is based on this is kind of how menus work in in uh, in WordPress so whenever you're going in here so let's just let's just kind of back up to just clarify this menu thing because that's kind of what I said this episode was about is menus and other other gotchas so um <clears throat> let's just take that link out of there so yeah so if you uh, go to your wordpress and you see this weird menu like I know I have a friend of mine that's got a website that she's she set up on Click eCourse and her menu is looking weird she's got two menus right here see she's got two menus and she's wondering why she has these two menus right and I I I'd have to look at her back office but I'm guessing that the reason is because inside of menus here whenever you click on appearance and then menus when you go to manage locations she probably hasn't selected this yet whatever options are in her theme I don't know if I can see can I see what theme she's got she's using the hmm not sure what theme this is is there a way to find out view page source maybe I can tell from the source themes <coughs> theme uh shop press uh store shop press it looks like it's shop shop press hmm. okay let's see if I can just choose that theme uh, themes add new and then shop press is that what we sell shop press well, let's see if that's it let's use that one Uh, preview well actually I'm just going to apply it oh yeah there you go exactly see look there's two exactly two menus at the same all the pages are there so let's see activate and publish uh, and I'm just going to go and fix that and then we'll I'll be able to tell her exactly what to do to fix it all right so uh, let's see okay so if I go into let's just go back out of here let's go into menus if I reload this over here right now you can see the same kind of look right the, the the blog is there but the the two menus are up top let's fix these two menus you go right up here let's see if that's as simple as this manage locations top menu I don't want one I don't want let's just say well what if I just primary top right top left so just let's just okay let's use a new menu here top left is I'm going to call it top left and I'm going to create the menu and I'm just going to add say my refund policy and my jean serge Gagnon mastermind like whatever I got two things in that menu I wanted in here I'm going to save that I'm going to go back to manage locations and the primary menu um yeah I'll just leave it a top menu I'll leave that a top menu which is my original menu right I'll change that so now I have I could have created a top right menu and made that because it makes it more logical right but if I go back now and I reload the page now I'm going to have my refund policy in there and then the second menu right here oh I like that I like this kind of and then there's other things here I'm not sure what that is oh I'm, it's the same thing right see because I oh that's why okay there's three different menus on this site maybe even a fourth one some down the bottom maybe I like this theme yeah so uh up top here you can have your top right your top left and then the other one so in my case I really would want to have a new menu here I'm going to 
say top right top right I'm going to call it top right I'm going to create this new menu and then I'm going to put in there I'm actually going to put the contact page my contact page where's my contact page uh, search for contact <clears throat> okay contact page right here and work with js empty menu save that and then if I go back to manage locations now we see top right and top left and let's just say what else what do I want my top model that's fine anyways I just save that and then if I load now if I reload this now we have this refund policy my mastermind group work with js contact and then over here I have <laughs> other stuff now obviously I want to clean that up make it you know have a better a better kind of look but that's kind of how you do this uh, the, the menus that's how you fix the menus in wordpress it's all about going into the appearance the menus and then choosing the managed locations <laughs> to put the right menus in the locations you can have to create new menus and all that all right hopefully Kim this this will help you by the way this is Kim Kim's website make sure you go check it out it's called compassion with Kim she's got uh, all sorts of great um, posts about uh, issues in health issues in in uh, in in homo homo is so candida homeo oh I forget <laughs> I don't know but anyways uh the the about it's all about health about uh being um, uh, yeah as she said here after antibiotics she talks about uh what's cardassal guarding and then she talks about the pandemic she talks about uh autism vaccines uh, statins uh the big the rise of the pharma and then but anyway so yeah so go check it out compassionwithkim.com that's her blog uh it's and she's probably going to fix this pretty soon after she sees this episode all right have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time